think that's a sniper outside, which must mean only one thing. This time, we're going to be looking at Cali. I'm really sorry. These intros are getting worse and worse, aren't they, if we're being honest with each other? Uh, when it comes to Cali, she's actually a really interesting operator, and I don't think I appreciated before I did this video and did some tests earlier today just quite how good her gadget is. That lance can destroy pretty much any gadget other than the mirror window. It's really, really useful. A lot of people just see her there as to get the wall denial off, bandit, cade, mute, etc., which probably is a prime job. But then she's also really good at destroying things like castle barricades, Malusi banshees, maestro cameras, bulletproof cameras, and various other bits of utility that are usually further away that you can't quite destroy. Um, a really interesting bit of utility. The only thing that holds her back is obviously that primary weapon. For me, I'm not always the best at hitting my first shot, being honest with you. So if you could maybe give her like a DMR or something instead, I think she'd be really, really good and a buff that would just make her one of the best played operators. We'll keep the structure exactly the same. We'll look at Kelly's loadout. We'll look at the basics of the gadget. We'll look at how the gadget actually works. And then we'll look at some good situations on where to use Kelly. So without further ado, I think that's probably enough waffling. Let's get stuck into it. Right then, let's get started with Kelly's loadout for a change then. And I don't really think there's, uh, there's much discussion to be had. So... When it's, uh, it comes to a main weapon, she only has option to one, unlike most other operators. That's the CSRX 300. Um, the secondary is the SPSMG uh, or the C75. The PT26 isn't really an option, in my opinion. So you don't really get much of a choice with the primary. Well, actually, you get no choice. You can either use the five times or the 12 times zoom when you're using the weapon. Pretty reliable. We'll come into what the damages do for different speeds and armors uh, just as we start the video with the basics. But. Um, yeah, you can't really go wrong with this. It's all right. It's just it's not great for close quarters. You've got to hit your shots. Obviously, if you miss, um, it's <laughs> you're going to give yourself away. The only thing that is not great as in like the bullet trails, it's really obvious to see where Cali is. So that's that's not ideal. And you can't put a sniper on it either. To uh, you can't put any attachments. Oh, sorry, a sniper. I just said a sniper. You can't put a silencer on it uh, or any other attachments to hide the uh, the bullet trail. When it comes to the secondary, I always use the SPSMG9. I like the fact you can add a sight to it. You can add a, a, um, a, a barrel attachment uh, or muzzle attachment so you can uh, at least do something about the recoil or you could put an extended barrel on so the, the damage will go a little bit further. Um, a decent damage, really good fire rate. Um, the CA-75 has slightly higher damage, slightly higher fire rate, but the fire rate's like negligible. Like it's only 20 higher fire rate and, uh, and two higher um, damage, so it's not massive. The only thing with the C-75 is you can't put a sight on it, and it's really, really difficult to, uh, in my opinion, use the iron sight. I re it's really unforgiving. You can't really see what you're, you're aiming at. It's just a pistol iron sight. You can, if I move it around here, you can probably see just there. It's not the easiest thing to uh, to see. So, yeah, in my opinion, it's the SPSMG9. Um, claymores or breaching charges, it depends what you want to do. If you're attacking from above, take breaching charges. If you're holding flanks, take claymores. Entirely sight dependent. On what you want to take there. It's cool how we have all the 3D models here now. I really like that. And the breaching charge. It's cool, isn't it? So yeah. Um, CSRX 300. SPSMG9. And Claymores for me normally. Okay, so getting started with the basics then. We normally start with the gadgets uh, basics. However, we're going to have to start with Cali's weapon. Because it's so unique to Cali. So like any other sniper really. You can change your uh, magnification using the key. Um, 5 to 12 times. Just one thing of note. Um, you can stay zoomed in while you pull the bolt for your next shot. You, don't, you know some games if you're using bolt action snipers you have to uh, you shoot the shot you have to unzo scope out and then you can scope back in it's not like that you can stay zoomed in if you want to so what's different um about Kelly's gun then is the damage that it deals to uh, to everybody else in terms of armor and speed so and um, we're going to talk about now about what the the, the damage is and this is going to be um, fairly sort of boring to explain but i'm going to do my best here so when we say three speed we mean one armor and when we say one armor we need three speed uh, sorry <laughs> that's the same thing when we say three speed that means one armor when we say one speed that means three armor obviously two speed two armor so any three speed operator which used to be one armor but that's not the case anymore because we've got the health system as you can see in the bottom left at 110 so any three speed operator will be instantly killed by Kelly's gun any two speed or one speed operators will be down but not outed by the gun. Now, where that differs is with a rook plate. If you put a rook plate on the three speed operator, that three speed operator then won't be instantly killed, but they will be down but not out if they get a shot with Kelly's gun. Any two speed and one speed operators won't be instantly down but not out with a rook plate, they'll just take damage. So that's the difference there. That anyone who's a, who's a, a three speed will die instantly or be down but not out with one shot. And anyone who's a two speed or one speed will either be down but not out with no root plate or just take damage with the root plate. We know Jaeger is a two speed, two armor, so if we shoot him, he should just get downed. 
Well, we can't down him because it's a 1v1 and it's not how it works. But yeah, that would what would happen if he was two speed, two armor. Just sticking with the basics of Kali's gun very quickly, I want to show you that it can destroy hatches and barricades in one shot. Hatches. Really powerful tool, actually, to have a gun that can do that. And also barricades will be destroyed in one shot as well. And you can also destroy the speakers in one shot. Get out of here. You know this annoying noise in here as well, this clock? You shoot these two dangly bits. As if that both missed on the hit fire. That stops the clock ticking as well, which is really useful. Because if you're playing in piano and all you can hear is that clock going off, it's really frustrating. Anyway. So yeah, that's uh, just another bit of, uh, of usefulness, if that's a word, uh, to, to Kali's gun there, where you can get rid of barricades and hatches in one shot. Okay, so let's talk about Kali's utility and the basics of it then. She uses this, which is called the Lance, or the LV Lance, and you can see the crosshair changes when you equip it just like this. So what the Lance does is it buries through or burrows through the reinforced or soft wall, and I've reinforced one side so I can show you that the other side uh, is still affected as well. Um, it, re it burrows through the, the wall and will explode on the other side of the wall. So if I fire it here, it burrows through and on a soft wall, probably see Bandit here, hey it will leave a small hole through the wall. If you fire this at a reinforced wall, it won't leave a small hole in the wall. Now, when it explodes on the other side of the wall, it has a three meter radius. So if you look, if we stand here where the hole was and we try and find out where three meters was, that's four meters. Three meters is about there. You can see it's a decent radius on both sides, so much so that the bandit uh, battery that bandit put down. I'm just going to put another one down. Uh, the bandit battery that bandit put down was destroyed by even shooting the wall next to it. So if we try it on a reinforced wall, it's exactly the same thing. It goes through the wall, but it doesn't leave a hole in there. As you can see, that's still very much reinforced on the other side of there. So it will destroy like the first layer, but it doesn't destroy the uh, the, the reinforcements on the other side. So. As you can see, though, the bandit battery on the other side of the wall has been destroyed. If you stand in the middle of the wall here, you can see that it's roughly a three meter radius both sides. So when it comes to destroying certain things like cave claws and bandit batteries, you want to make sure you, you get in it. Some, you know, you don't want to be firing it up, up here and try and destroy a bandit battery down there. You've got to have some idea, and especially with this wall, you could just literally drone it out and look what's there. Um, so just try and get some info before you use it. One thing to note about the lance is there's absolutely no bullet drop. If I aim for the bottom corner of this, uh, this whatever that sort of gold thing is there, you'll see if it, it will land exactly there. There's absolutely zero bullet drop at all. It will land exactly where it was. And you get access to four of them as well, which was buffed, I think, because I'm sure you only used to get access to three. So what can the lance destroy and what can't the lance destroy? Pretty much everything apart from mirror windows the lance can destroy. And remember that three meter radius. You fire the floor or the lance, sorry, down on the floor there. And that's the Maestro Cam gone. And we'll go through a list of a few operators where things can get destroyed, which are quite surprising to a few people. Because um, not everyone knows about it with Kali. Because I don't really see it played that much, really. Um, but she's just, I mean, in terms of where she's good to be used, like, you can literally be behind the van here and just open the. I mean, just the amount of, like, accuracy you can have with a gun is insane. The more I'm doing this video, I'm thinking, you know what? I need to play Kali a bit more. She's actually quite fun. The gun is just, I mean, I probably wouldn't play it in, like, a decent rank game, but just like in uh, ELO that I'm used to. But I certainly am starting to think just maybe when I'm playing unranked and stuff, I'm thinking I might just play some more Kali. And you can make unbelievable smiley faces. Nearly. I haven't got time for that. We're making a video. Concentrate, Andy. So yeah, my show cams are a goner. So when it comes to Castle, this is a really, really useful one for Kali. Lances will destroy the entire Castle Barricade. There's another Castle Barricade here as well. You can see it's so, so good at getting rid of them. Bulletproof cameras, say goodbye. Right, considering how strong of a, a utility-based game Siege is, it's, out, it's sort of surprising that Kali isn't used more for how effective she is at clearing gadgets. Um, we'll go through a few more things she can clear now as well. Cheers, Castle. Now, we're not going to go through every operator and everything she destroys. I'll put a summarized list out in a second. But the uh, the other thing, or one of the main things that you can destroy, is a Banshee. Without having to go close enough for the Banshee open to open up. And the Lucy Banshee. If you're at range and you want to be a bit safer, again, don't fire. <laughs> As if I just hit the door frame. No, don't do that. That's a good. I'm glad that's happened. Don't do that. That's, an, that's not a good thing. Ah, it's somewhere near the Banshee. And there we go, the Banshee's gone as well. There's so much utility that you can get rid of, it's insane. I mean, obviously don't use default cams, but 
I think the key is use it on things that you can't shoot. I know you can shoot a banshee if you get close enough. Um, but if you can, if there's like um, a valt cam up here, you know, don't fire the core of the valt, the lance of the valt cam, you know, shoot the valt cam. But if it's something that's bulletproof and something that needs to be destroyed, um, then uh, distance and definitely use the lance. So the final interaction I'm just going to show you is with this senior citizen. You can see, oh man, it's mad how much details in the face when you use like the 12 times. He's an angry man, isn't he, Cade? Sick of everyone destroying his claws off Clubhouse Wall, that's why. Right, so let's, <laughs> let's have a look at the uh, interaction with Cade. And the reason why I said at the start of the video it's important to try and get a little bit of information if you can about where the gadget is that you're trying to destroy. Claws down here, if we go around here and throw the lamp at this, uh, lamps at this side of the wall, you'll see it hasn't destroyed the core. It was still only got a three meter radius, as I said. So you've just got to bear in mind and try and do a bit of a bit of recon if you can about where he says you're trying to what he says that you're trying to destroy and where he says. So using that K call there, if you didn't know it was there, you just guess the middle of the wall. But if you can get a little bit of recon, send a drone around the corner. Obviously, you land this down there, we'll get rid of it perfectly. The other thing that you have to bear in mind when you're against Cade, if I just take control of Cade quickly, Cade can place claws in certain places which will be Cali proof because they're more than three meters away from the wall. But let's just chuck it up here on the air conditioning or whatever these vents are and we'll see if we can destroy it from the other side of the wall so again we've got that three meter i don't know why i can't shoot i think that should get it it doesn't get it i wonder why that is is it probably because it's protected there's no like line of sight let's try again from this side slightly further down yeah, it doesn't get it so you've just got to bear in mind there's certain places where cave can place claws that's definitely within three meters on the other side of that wall you just got to bear in mind there's certain places where Cade can can, um, can put claws that are Cali proof. One, for example, I know is here. Because it's going through the... The way the, the claw or the lance works, sorry, is it, it burrows through the reinforced wall. So it's going to burrow through the wall at the top there. Uh, up here. But it can't burrow through. You can see that's the vent pipe, the vent stack right in there that we're looking at. So you see it can't go through that. It won't destroy that, so... Yeah, you've just got to bear in mind that Cade is, is one of Cali's counters as well, where you're thinking that, um... We're going to come on to counters now, but you're thinking that, uh... You know, there's a, there's a claw on the other side of the wall, it's just Cali. There are certain places where the Cali proof. The claw is such a cool model, isn't it? I mean, it, like, passes the electricity down through the claw. Uh, right, so, other than going through a list and going through an interaction of every operator, I'm going to shout some out now, which uh, Cali will destroy, so... Big thanks to Siege Fandom website, because I haven't put this list together myself. I'm stealing it from there, but... Mute signal disruptors, castle armored panels, which we've seen, cap can devices, not really a good, um, worthwhile spend of a Cali Lance, because, you know, you can just shoot them quite easily. Uh, bandit shock wires, which we've seen, Jaeger ADS, which we've seen, Valkyrie cameras, Echo drones, Legion goo mines, Alamines, mines, Alibi prisms, Maestro evil eyes, Cade Electro Claws, Mozzie Pest, Goyo Vulcan Shields, Malusi Banshees, Barbed Wire, Prox Alarms, Bulletproof Cameras, and Deployable Shields. That's a big one that we haven't spoken about. Deployable Shields are easily destroyed by Kali's Claw, an essential piece of Defender's uh, utility. You've just got to make sure there's no ADS or Wamaya Magnets in the way, which we'll come on to now. So what counts as Kali? Well, it's the classic. It's this lad. And Wamai, but we'll come on to Wamai in a second. There's two ADSs on the floor there. There's some barbed wire, which if you wanted to, by the way, just to show you, you can destroy barbed wire as well. Oh, we want to destroy that barbed wire. The ADS just snags it out of the air straight away. You can see there's two ADSs there. And the third one will get through. However, the ADSs are then within three meters of the barbed wire, so they get destroyed as well. So ADSs from Jaeger will snag it out of the air. Cheers, Jaeger. And finally, the second main counter is this guy. So you can see there's a Wamai Magnus on the floor there. And we're going to pretend that barbed wire is there again. And we'll try and shoot the barbed wire. Now, as you can see, the uh, the Magnus pulls in the lance. However, unlike Jaeger, which will completely just snag the lance out of the air and it completely gets destroyed, the Magnet will pull it into where the Magnet's located and the, the lance will still go off. So if it was in the case of the barbed wire, the barbed wire would still be destroyed. So that's just the point when you're playing Jaeger. Like, if you've got a Banshee on the floor here, you don't want a Magnet there because it'll still go off. You want the Magnet up here out of the way. Um, just as a as a point about Jaeger there. Did you know you can um, get rid of the cake here, by the way? And the icing goes everywhere. And you can do it with the icing bag as well. Splat. Yeah, anyway, we move on. Um, sorry about that. Whoever was uh, whoever was 20. That's your birthday ruined. Sorry. So, yeah. Um, well, my again. Let's just throw another disc on the floor quickly. Uh, just like that. And then, uh, here we go. As you can see, it goes in again. 
and gets destroyed in the magnet. So am I and the Jaeger are two main counters. So we've spoken about who counters Kali, but we haven't spoken about who Kali counters other than the utility. There's one operator in particular. Yo, here she is. So Kali will directly counter Clash's shield by shooting the shield anywhere. Will cause the shield to act as if you just melee it. If we melee the shield, you see it goes to one side like so. Opening a body up to be uh, to be attacked. Exactly the same thing happens with the Kali shot. It's exactly the same animation. The only thing is with Kali, it's difficult to get two shots off because by the time the fire rate and the bolts come back, ready to go again, it, the, the shield's almost back down. So if you're attacking Clash with with Kali and you've got your teammates with you who can help out, it, she's a pretty much a donor. If you go, if you do want to kill Kali and you sorry, if you do want to kill Clash and you're playing Kali, you need to be on the right hand side of Clash. Let me just pull her away from this door frame a second and I can show you what I mean. We put her here. So if we're playing the Kali, when you shoot the shield, you then need to go like round to the right because the shield goes round. To, to our left or to Clash's right. So as you shoot the shield, you see it goes round to the right. So what you want to do is start moving around whilst you hear the bolt going back. And try and get that second shot. And you can see we did some damage there. We've taken Clash down to 44 damage on the second screen. I've just had a look. So if we do it again, you shoot it and go round to the right. <laughs> just miss. Shoot round to the right and, and shoot again. Um, let me just reload. And try again. I can't sh I, Right, one thing, by the way. When you're with Kali, don't sprint and try and shoot because you can't get out of your sprint animation in time to shoot. I'm pressing mouse one now. You can see the gun moving around. If I press and hold mouse one, then the shot finally gets off. So if you do want to uh, shoot while on the move with Kali, don't run. So... That's, God, it's so difficult to do. But essentially, I have a teammate with you. So once you move the shield, she can shoot it or he can shoot it. But yeah... If you are trying to kill one on one, go around to the right. So let's get into where is Kali good. Shoot the speaker. Good. So where is Kali good? Anywhere that you have to hold the wrong angle, really. She's good at destroying utility, obviously, as we've seen. In terms of using a weapon as well, anywhere you can hold a long angle, you can do a lot of destruction with a gun. As you can see here, this trash wall is never reinforced. You can hold across into some of cocktail and long ball there. You can hold from bathroom. There's a rotate in this wall usually. You can hold into a bit of freezer from here as well. Obviously, if you're struggling for range, you can zoom in a little bit and have a look at what's going on. Anywhere where there's a long angle that needs to be held, Kali is your, uh, your operator that you want to use. Just looking at the, uh, the holes we've just made there, you can see that we've gone all the way through. If I run around there, it's going to be quicker to go this way. If I run all the way around here, you can see we were going through freezer there and through bar store. So from that window, all the way through, where's the window? Uh, that from that uh, no wait that's not the window that's the window from that window I was like wait that's the window someone's barricaded it up in the time that I've done this from that window there all the way over to uh, the white uh, this will be reinforced with the rotate somewhere but usually have somebody playing in here holding the uh, cigar shop and new hatch angle here so to be able to hold that angle from there pretty strong yeah anywhere there's a long angle we'll go through some additional examples now Another absolute classic here for Cali players, which is from the spawn here at Warehouse. Shoot the default car. Fire your lance at this wall to get the bandit batteries off a Thermite, Ace, Habana, whoever's there. That, by the way, looking at it from this far away is a really good example of that three meter radius we talked about. Look at the sort of blast radius. You can physically see it. Gives you a really good idea of how, the, uh, how far the blast radius is. So Thermite's open that wall. The amount of times I've died to a Cali who's just holding here. Firing random shots into cash through the soft wall and hitting them as well, which is outrageously frustrating. You can see by just dumping a couple of uh, dumping a couple of mags over into uh, the cash wall. If we now just go over and have a quick look at that, you can see how much damage it's caused. And anyone playing in cash is in serious trouble. See that all those shots going through onto that angle that goes through to the com wall as well. Now, granted, you probably get you want to be attacking. Uh, sorry, you want to be if you can over at th these windows really, rather than on this balcony. You want to be over here and here because you get this angle, which means you get like more. You, you're going deeper into cash. You know, if I'm shooting at this angle, like no one's going to be stood against that wall. Do you know what I mean? Um, so if you can get over on that angle a bit more, you're going to be firing at a, um, into the, the deeper parts of the cash room. If you know what I mean. Let me just show you what I uh, what I'm talking about because I am just I, I I understand that I talk a lot of crap or I just waffle and I don't really explain what I mean. But, um, so you want to be on this angle a bit more because then you're going into like the deeper parts of uh, I'm shooting the wall there. There we go. 
deeper parts of cash and even better if you can. I mean, this angle's outrageous to be able to be, uh, sorry, this angle's outrageous to be able to there. You see that's the edge of the wall there, that's the desk in cash. See the top of the desk there? To be able to be hold to that angle where people will be playing, it's usually me playing Muse or Smoke. Absolutely panicking, then I'm gonna get my head taken off by the Cali. So yeah, a long angle there is uh, is really strong, and there's a, there's a few more which we'll go through as well. So we're out here on bank now, and there's something that I wanted to, to bring up. So firstly, we used to be able to see through these windows, right? And every Cali player used to go on top of this car park here, and used to just hold these windows. The only window that's now open is this end one, so you definitely can still use this end one. I'll show you what this looks like. You definitely can still use this end one to make uh, to get decent angles. Uh, let's just get rid of this for a second. To get decent angles into the meeting room, or Trump as it's called, on the top of banana stairs. You can also take out any banshees that are normally at the top of banana stairs there. From here as well, if this isn't, I mean, in higher elo, these walls, I think they're called Kanto walls in Pro League, are reinforced. If they're not reinforced, as the Kali, you can just take out the wall and you can put a pretty much decent line of sight all the way down the main sort of corridor that defenders want to look at. Now, Bear in mind that this is the only window that's open and all these are now closed. You can't see through. Oh, it's sad you can't see a reflection. But all of these are now closed. However, these little badges underneath are not closed. So people seem to forget that you can still get decent angles on things. So this is that through fair there, the door with the beepers on. And you can see oh, that that's the back CEO wall. So even as Cali using this angle here, you can still see right to the back of CEO. And you get a lot of people hiding behind this cupboard here. Whilst they're trying to, um, there's some, there's some windows, if I just get the right, maybe the next window will show me a better angle. Can you see? Not quite. And you can see them just, hang on, bear with me, just there, you can see the barricade. I just shut the barricade out. So you'll get people playing on those windows, and defenders will hide behind this cabinet to cover, uh, to take cover from the windows. But if you come on down onto here, you can see, I wish that repel rope bugger off. You can see behind the cabinet there, really, really good long angle. Plus, then you get people who just walk through this door and uh, no idea that people are watching it because they think this is now blocked up. Nobody thinks you have to uh, to cover here anymore. But uh, again, using these windows, you can do you can hold into um, into archives and into into the the back reception there, and also coming out of elevator one, which is just here. I am so fat fingered, by the way. I can't make small adjustments on repels. I don't know if anyone else can. I suppose the way to do it is to, to hold slow walk and then it's a bit easier to make smaller adjustments rather than trying to do it like that. So yeah, use these windows, but get, absolutely use these windows. And that angle here, for using the whatever many windows across this is, just up to there, is a really solid angle. Obviously, you've just got to be careful because you're exposed to the hole with the lobby. So drone out lobby. Remember as well, you can see through this door and into Trump. Hang on. Uh, through into Trump as well. So you are a little bit exposed yourself. Just one thing I recommend doing on this site is don't get on that rappel within the first 30 seconds of the round. You want it to be no, like sort of half secret that you're up there. So also rappel at this end of the building because that, that first sound of the rappel, this, is the loudest thing that you'll do. And if someone is playing somewhere near lobby and they hear that sound of the rappel, whoop, whoop, it's the sound of the rappel. That's only funny. Well, not really funny, but that's only relevant if you're from England and you know what that song is. Whoop, whoop, it's the sound of the please. Anyway. Um, I am so old and talk so much sh Right, so <laughs> I wouldn't do it in the first 30 seconds because people are still going to be running around. People try and get picks onto the site windows from reception. Give it like a minute, minute and a half or something. Drone people in for that minute and a half and then get up here. Once you've got this wall open, people will be hiding behind here. It's going to be free cheese, trust me. That's bang. Okay, finally back to cafe. We'll open the red hatch and we'll send a drone down and we'll show you where the bandit's standing. Bandit standings. Poetry. Bandit's here. Hey -oh. Now, I'm sure a lot of people know about this, and this isn't just done with Callie's gun, but it makes it a lot easier. You can open the very top of this wall, which will give you a line of sight through into piano. You can see there. Now, obviously, with it, with any gun, you can do that. However, with Callie's gun, it's much easier. And if we zoom in even further, we can just see what I think is Bandit's uh, nether regions, actually. So that's gone well. Uh, zoom back out a sec. <laughs> uh, let me just jump on the bandit and move around. And you can see, you see me moving around there. If I move slightly further forward in front of the table, we move all the way this way. Who's that there? Hey up, pal. So it is easier done with Cali's gun, but it can be done by any other gun as well. And you can, you actually, if you move further forwards and backwards, you can get a decent range of piano there. You can see like a lot of it, even though it's only a tiny little angle. But yeah, 
try and use that if you can when you're playing Cali. So there we have it. That's Cali for me. An operator which I'm certainly going to be looking at playing a little bit more, given how strong that gadget is, which I definitely didn't appreciate until we made this video today. For those of you that don't know, I also stream on Twitch four days a week, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 p.m. UK time. I only ever play ranked on stream. My name on Twitch is exactly the same as it is on YouTube below. Definitely go and give us a follow over there and come and say hello. There's been a ton of people from YouTube who've come over and said hello. If you're not one of them, come and get involved. Thank you. Other than that, that wraps us up for Cali, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!